Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play an episode of Civilization 6. We are going to be playing a modded game. We have not done a modded playthrough in a very, very long time, and so we are going to be trying out some new mods. I'm going to take a moment here to go through the various mods that we will be using. Uh, first of all, we will be using the Rebalanced Mines by Pokio. Uh, this is a mod that changes how mines work. Basically, mines can only be built on desert tundra and snow hills. Farms can be built on hills earlier at animal husbandry, and farms produce one production at mass production as well. Lumber mills are now unlocked much earlier in the deck tree, and lumber mills and quarries have been updated to receive an additional production bonus, and uh, industrial zones now receive standard adjacency bonuses from lumber mills and rivers, and the river valley bonus now applies to lumber mills. And it's a couple of other small changes. That is the first mod that we are using. A completely changed way to use mines. We're also going to be using the deep sea fisheries. This is a very, very simple mod that just allows you to build fisheries in deep water. Not going to be hugely impactful, but we'll have it in it anyway. Then we've got the better encampment mod. This allows you to gain um, production from your encampment uh, from being adjacent to other districts and other strategic resources. And the encampment and all of its buildings also provide plus one more housing. And strategic resources in a city that has an encampment will receive plus one. So if you have, if you're getting two horses per turn, you build an encampment, you get three. And builders trained in cities with encampments also receive plus one build charge. These is going, these sorts of changes, they're going to make the game very, very interesting. Uh, there's also, uh, we're also going to be using the Pokeheels uh, improved specialist. So encampments provide plus two production and plus two culture. Very interesting stuff. We also are going to be using the better aqueduct mod. The better aqueduct gives you plus one great engineer points, has minor food adjacency for other districts, and a standard food adjacency for oases and rivers. It also gives you plus one housing if it's placed on a tile with the least charming appeal, and it gets plus one food to farms over resources in the city, so it works a little bit like the watermill. Uh, it also uh, has its own specialists, which give you three food and one production, which is really, really nice. It's like working a late game. Um, it's like working a late game farm. Instead of a mid late game farm. And uh, it also works with the more district trade route yields, which we will be using, which gives plus two food for international and domestic trade routes. We're also using the uh, more district trade route yields. This is a mod that changes how things works. Aerodromes give plus one production, aqueducts plus two, baths plus two, canals plus one, plus one, dams plus one, plus one, Mabanza plus one, neighborhoods plus one. So it just adds a few little kind of like almost flavorful little bit, bits of stuff here. We are going to be playing with the religion expanded mod. The Religion Expanded mod uh, increases the number of religions per game to a maximum of 16, uh, int introduces 40 new beliefs, adds fully customized religious buildings, and it becomes much more dynamic. Uh, so there's a lot of changes here that I'm not going to go through individually because there's just a lot here, but we should see ourselves having a little bit of a revamped uh, production game. Sorry, religion game. Then we're also going to be playing with the Production from Population mod. This was actually a mod that uh, was somewhat inspired by me i think it is it says it here somewhere yeah there it is this mod was wholly inspired by an idea that youtuber potato Mix whiskey proposed in this video so you know i can kind of you know i can take a little tiny tiny little tiny little chunk of the credit here um so you gain a little bit of production from each citizen and citizens get each ex a little bit more production for every citizen and you get a little bit more production for each era that the game is in so uh that is that one we're also uh the enhanced mod manager for the ui thing then we're also going to be using the simple UI adjustments and yet not in our maps pack. So I'm pretty sure that covers all of the mods, right? Let's double check. Do I have the improved specialist mod? Uh, did I not equip that one? Equip it, install it. Oh, I need to quickly double check. I'm not missing a mod here. Improved specialists? I do have it in. It must not be showing up. Am I blind? Ah, here it is. Improved specialists. This adds a whole bunch of things. Holy sites get, get more faith. Basically, all of the guys give a little bit more stuff uh, for working them. So that's going to be interesting. This is gonna, I feel like this is like kind of changes the game in a lot of really interesting ways. But it's still Civ, you know? Um, so we're kind of, kind of excited to try all these out. Now, I might have missed a mod, but we've got our list over here. Uh, nothing too crazy. I'm actually, you know what? I might even just use like a default map. But we are going to go ahead and start a single player game with all these mods enabled. Start an advanced game. Now, I want to play around with the new 
um, stuff. So I was thinking maybe a sieve that has like a really good uh, aqueduct would be really, really powerful here. So I was thinking either like the Incans um, or maybe the um, Romans or potentially even the Khmer. I've already done sort of a, you know, I, I did an Incan game recently, but they're a lot of fun to play. So I think I might play the Incan again because they have a really cool interaction. Although, no, you know what? Maybe I'll go for something more chill. We'll do a Roman game. We haven't played a Ro we haven't played Rome in a while. I think this will sort of give us a, a, a sort of wide uh, set of bonuses that we can work around and stuff like that. We're going to be playing on Deity. We are going to be playing on a uh, continent map of a, a huge size. There's going to be twelve players in this game to keep things interesting for you, and we'll go up to maximum disaster intensity. We'll go ahead and say random cultural start link and that should be basically all the settings pretty default stuff nothing too crazy we're just going to do a continents game as rome and we shall go ahead and get started so why rome um honestly it's because they got the unique bath so we're incentivized to build uh aqueducts and aqueducts are improved in this set of mods I mean, that was really just about the logic that i had and they don't kind of interact too differently and they'll be a nice default sort of save to play around with So we shall see how things work out. I'm also testing out some new recording settings. So if things sound weird, please do let me know. Um, I have some new sort of settings and features and all this stuff enabled uh, in my uh, recording setup. So if you notice any weird, maybe like my voice cutting out or maybe uh, the sound, you know, clipping or, uh, you know, just not sounding quite right. Just keep it. Let me know. And uh, if you could like link the moment that it happens in the timestamp. Um, I will be watching this through, obviously, myself very carefully, but I might miss something. So just let me know and I can I can troubleshoot some of these two things as well. That would be awesome. Alrighty then. So here we are starting off as Rome. Now, I feel like we have actually two viable choices here. I'm going to explore a little bit down this way. So we have a good set of knowledge here about our starting location. Um, I'm tempted to settle on the truffles. I'm also tempted to settle in place because it is a plains hill, which will give me plus one production. I could settle the truffles. I really, 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 really could settle the truffles and it would be really, really nice. I'd miss out on the plus one production, but I would gain the three gold per turn and still be able to work relatively good tiles. Or I could stay in place. I'm going to go to the truffles. I made my decision. I'd like to get the gold. I really do like the plus one production, but the plus one gold or the plus three gold should be really nice too. So now we're getting the plus three gold on our city center. We don't have to work that tile. We're going to work extra food. I want to grow it. Well, I could work a mixture. We are going for a religion this game because we want to play around with the new religion mechanics. So we will go for astrology early. Um, however, something to note here is that we don't have a very good place to put a holy site as a result of all these forests blocking me. So what I might do is go for mining into astrology take the time to get a slinger work the two food to production tile that will make the slinger and thingy go at the same time we'll do a little bit of exploring down here towards the desert i would like to find a couple of goody huts now we're going to swing back up this way I feel like I am in the north half of the map so far, based on my current impression. I'd like to go into these jungle tiles. Alrighty. And a slinger will be finished here in a moment. It is not wisdom. 
right, there is Code of Laws. Thankfully, because we start with a monument, we research these things very, very quickly. Hmm. I'm going to go for Urban Planning. Well, I need the Faith for a Religion. And I already have really good gold income. Ideally, I would be working Urban Planning, but it's not an option right now. Put some time into foreign trade. Okay, Slinger is finished. We're going to explore to the east. And with our warrior, we're going to continue along the coastline. My confidence level of being north of the um, equator is now much lowered. I'm actually feeling like I'm on the equator. And we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a settler. Actually, we want to go builder first and then settler. In this, in this configuration, because we delayed the holy site research, we're going to have to do it in a little bit of a different order. Okay, I'm going to bring both of my units up here to fight this barb camp so this uh, scout doesn't make a mockery of me. We're going to block him there. And block him there. Hopefully he goes to the east. Who deserves mock? Take a shot at him. We have just finished mining, so we can chop this tile away, and we'll be able to chop out our settler slightly quicker. More importantly, we're just going to chop to get rid of this so we can actually place the holy site there without suffering a penalty. So we'll attack there to do some damage. The spearman will likely attack our slinger. And then we can attack again with our warrior. Get the kill with the slinger. That'll give us a boost for archery. This guy has a level up. This guy does not, but that's okay. And we'll clear this and get some points. We'll go here. You will clear that. That'll get me some error score. I'm going to step you back this way and then promote you with volley. We're going to chop there. We're working what I would consider to be good tiles. I'm going to bring you back to heal inside my territory. Because it will be slightly faster. We're going to leave this tile blank. And I might go ahead and get these farms improved. Go here and heal. I'm going to heal for one turn. May as well be at maximum health with my slinger. For a single turn of movement, it's fine. It's a positive aspect of trade, I suppose. Okay, there is trade. Doesn't really change anything for us. We'll put a farm down. That'll give us the boost for irrigation. And we will want to uh, learn irrigation. Um, there's a three food, one production tile, which is on par with these bananas. I'm tempted to put an aqueduct here later on in the game. As you can see here, these are quite good. Um, but we shall see about what we do exactly. Now, uh, we're going to take a moment here to get ourselves a craftsmanship because we want to head towards state workforce. Drop the two farms. We will want to work food. We'll leave this one just going. We'll head this way a little bit. Want to see what's going on down here in the desert. I could settle for a Petra. A barb camp just appeared somewhere. It's over here. If I go on this hill tile, I'll bait the spearmen out. Now, in terms of our second city... Uh, we want a mixture of production and food. And since this mod encourages you to grow your city slightly bigger, I think I'm going to prioritize heading up to the north. I will actually even escort that because I'm a little bit worried about things. I've got five turns until the um, this is finished. What could I do in those five turns? It's either going to be a uh, trader or a warrior. 
both are valid choices here in my opinion um a trader would let me get this city up and running a little bit quicker a warrior would give me a bit more defensive and exploration potential i think i'm going to prioritize the warrior here Nobody is earning any great people points. You're going to stand here and hopefully bait that guy over. I'm going to be trying to settle my cities a little bit more spaced out than I would normally do. We should get the first attack here. A good chunk of damage. Make sure we escort that. Astrology is almost done. He'll make an attack. We get to do that. And I'm thinking of settling right here. Let's explore. Yeah, right here seems fine. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna space my cities out a little bit, which I normally wouldn't do. Um, I'm gonna put like three turns into a trader and then switch to a holy side up here. I've got a bunch of gold. So I could actually purchase a builder. And put a farm down here and let the city grow faster. But I'm worried about the floodplains just erasing my work. Uh, so I will leave it the way it is for now. I'm going to heal you up. I'll take a moment to heal up my slinger as well. We'll finally get to explore out this way. And then we'll put one more turn into a settler. Actually, it's time to grow a bit, I think, because we do get a lot of production from population. So let's make sure we're growing. I don't believe in astrology. Okay, there's astrology. We're going to switch to holy site in here. There's a plus two holy site. It's not amazing, but it does the job. There's already some great profit points on the roll. So we need to do the same thing up here. There's not very good um, holy sites. And I'm thinking we'll put it right here because eventually a commercial hub might go here, a harbor might go there, an aqueduct might go there, for example. I will put the holy site district there and slowly work on it. You're going to continue to explore for me. Look for that kill. You can cross the river. It looks like we're up on the end of a peninsula. There's a small chance I don't get a religion here. I'm pretty confident that I can get one. Especially if I buy my shrine. Okay, we killed that guy right there. Chase this guy down if you can. I think I heard a barb camp appear somewhere. You see, we're getting a little bit of 1.7 from our population. Keep exploring there. There's 12 religions in this game, so I feel like there's a good chance we get one. We kill right there, we gain bronze working. Head here, we gotta choose our pantheon. Uh, let's see, there's some new pantheons that we can play for them. Uh, plus two gold from forests, plus two gold from desert and desert hills, plus one culture from jungles. Plus two gold from forests seems like really powerful, especially if we get the ability to create lumber mills really early here at the wheel. In the mod, that might seem like actually a pretty reasonable thing to do. Um, and also, we already have a really strong gold game going. So we can make a religion entirely around generating gold. Now, desert... The desert gold might also work really well for that, too. Um, hmm. Uh, I'm really tempted to take the gold from gold from forests here. Let's do it. Of course, we still want to grow. That's going to net us a lot of gold over the course of a game. Take a moment here to heal. 
keep exploring with you. They've got a major desert in here. There's Arabia. There's pottery. We step closer to getting our plantation. Wait, why was I researching the plantation tech? I don't remember. Grab animal husbandry so we can find iron and um, or not iron horses and iron. Are the things you want to make sure we can find. We'll move here and then attack. We'll head you down this way. We're about to finish our holy site. We are super behind on the holy race, but I think we should be fine. We got kind of caught here in a really large desert, which is worrying. Because desert cities are not very good. So I'm going to purchase the shrine. Um, to get my faith generation and my great profit points uh, generation up and then I'm going to do holy site prayers until I've secured a religion. This is my religious gap but I actually made a video recently on this for you guys. Right, there is the early empire. We're going to put in plus one production in all cities. Uh, that will help us do things a little bit faster, a little bit more production and stuff like that. You're going to head down this way. You take a moment to he heal. We have early empire now. Go ahead and grab state workforce. We can build settlers faster if we wish. I'm going to take a moment to heal up on you. Yep, that's fine. I'm going to keep you around up here uh, for fog busting and protecting against barbarians. But these other guys, I feel a little bit more free to explore. Haven't found any city states, which is quite surprising. There's animal husbandry and craftsmanship. No horses either that I can spot. That is uh, very interesting. And there is Arabia. That is very close. I might have to do like a swordsman push to kill him. Okay, where are we on the religious game? We are not too far away from getting our religion. We're going to do ourselves another holy site prayer. But yeah, I'm thinking I might have to... Excuse me, what was that? My thing just popped up on me. Uh, I might have to go to war with him. We're going to go for another shrine. That'll give me faith. This will give me the faith and come to actually do something with my religion. I'm going to keep an eye on him. Do a little bit of exploration. Um, holy side prayers. We'll do one more. And that should be the religion completed. I think I might keep an eye on him. For the purpose of blocking any settlements, I heard the barb camp noise. It's over here. Let's head over there, see if we can clean that out. All right, holy side prayers is almost done. Of course, there he is. We'll get the government plaza. I'll likely chop this and put a uh, government plaza on it. Very unfortunate positioning to be caught with this desert around me. We can make use of this desert, um, but it's going to be rough. It's going to be a tough, tough old battle. I just want to keep an eye on Arabian, what he's up to and what he's doing. This is exactly the sort of thing I wanted to keep an eye out for. Um, we don't want him settling towards me. Let me see if I can... Through this barb camp, I need to, uh, there's our, there's our great prophet. We're going to found our religion. We're going to make a dedication here. 
Uh, Exodus the Evangelist is a good one. I missed out on four error score because I did that. I did that the wrong way way around, or maybe I didn't. Um, but as Rome, we are going to pick up the uh, God, uh, the religion of Poseidonism. I think that's the right way to spell Poseidon. Poseidonism. I know that was the Greek one, but that's like my little classical joke. Okay. I guess what is it? Technically, it should be Neptunism. Is that like the Greek Greek one? Wait. Yeah, the Neptune was like the, the Roman version. Uh, Neptunianism. Ah, you click the button. Neptunianism. Okay, so we have a lot of cool beliefs here. Ooh. Plus 2% gold for each follower. Don't mind if I do. And church property. <laughs> Making all the money, boys. A lot of money. Did we actually find any art? We did. So we are going to need a builder. We're going to need a builder. Uh, we're going to need a government plaza. We're going to need Roman centurions or whatever they're called. Let's go grab archery as well. So he's upset that I have a religion, which he's allowed to be if he wants to be. Cross here. Where is that settler? Okay, you go there. I'm going to go ahead and do this as well. Ironworking is on the cards. Can you get out of my territory, please? My god, you're being annoying over there. You head this way. Your job was to try and find the settler. And there he is. There he is. Where is he going? May the forces of evil You should take this out if I can. There's a haboob. Declare this surprise war. I don't know if this is going to work. I should have kept this guy coming down this way. I should have predicted that. Um, fortunately, I got to crush this, maybe. I could put it away over here. I need that money. Need that cash money. Get me some archers. You're way too weak to keep fighting now, but we have not blocked in. Improve that. Get this iron mine up, that'll get me iron working a little bit sooner. Okay, so we got him to run away. That's exactly what we wanted, alright? Outcome, crisis averted. Just don't pillage this stuff, please. All right, there's the iron mine. Definitely want to work that. We'd also like to get a... Um, want to start settling... Stuff. We've got six turns to screw around until we need to build a settler building. Oh my god, barb camps. I guess I know what I'm building for six turns, and that's archers and stuff. The point Magnus in the capital. We can start settling. You're going to head here. You're chasing. You're shooting. Um, okay, what are we doing with this? Maybe harvest the jungle? There's more iron over here that I could settle for. I just hold on to this builder charge. Keep chasing him down. Attack here. 
Archer will be done a turn sooner. Right, these guys need to come back to become full Roman soldiers. Get another settler out. We could put a farm here. Um, let's get these elephants online at long last. We'll attack, then promote, and then attack to clear. You guys need to get come back to get promoted. I'm going to need an encampment as well, which is why I'm trying to grow this city. Take the promotion. Need to go clear out this barb... Oh, that was the wrong unit. Need to go clear out this barb camp. Might get rid of this jungle. No, I want to improve the thing here. Uh, I like how this scout never touched this, but yet it still spawns something. There's the error score that we need. Archer head down this way. And you... Let's have a look here. Granary definitely has really, really good returns here. Um, a trader wouldn't be bad. Uh, we have three turns to screw around. I'm thinking we could go for... The Granary has really good long-term returns. I could just spam archers and kill him. I like the idea of spamming archers and killing him. We go here. If he runs this way, we'll be able to get in range and hurt him. Do a bit of damage there. Need to come clear out this barb camp. Fortify, walk back, promote, walk backwards, pop onto the hill, pop onto here, from there. Alrighty, things are looking okay for us. Excellent, there's cla uh, classical philosophy or whatever it's called. Go ahead and pick up oligarchy. That synergizes well with our goals. Put this in. We are going to be producing settlers here at some point. I'll take that just for now. Doesn't really matter. I haven't met any city states, so it's like whatever. Come back to promote. You're on your way back to promote as well. You're going there. Settler's about to finish. We are picking up now. Uh, theology would be good, I think. Being able to build temples. We got a lot of faith. Nothing we can really do with our faith except for evangelize, which we will want to do. Son of a bitch. I actually, you know, I had a feeling that was going to happen. <laughs> All right, we can now make legions. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Alright, so... Would be good to get lumber mills and my bats unlocked and stuff like that. As well as maybe a catapult or two. We're going to go to war with uh, Arabia. How's Arabia's army looking? Fierce weak. We want to settle forward. Take a moment to get inside our territory. You need to promote. You also need to promote. We're going to improve this. That will turn that into a better tile. Um, too bad this isn't floodplains. I could settle on the silver. To get access to it without having to use a thing. We're going to go for the Ancestral Hall here really quickly. I think we can fight this war with just what we have already. You know, that is unless barb camps appear in my face and like make my life hard. Question. Black Marketeer. Still costs me the full. Excuse me? We 
We have our first legion that we can start pushing with, though. Three archers and a legion, and then another warrior looking to promote. I think we're in an okay spot. I do have the settler card plugged in. We'll soon have four archers. Go ahead and get your hit. And this way, you're going to promote. Volley, it's important that we can kill units. You're going to come over here. You come this way. So how much is it to produce a legion? Four iron. We will be mass producing legions once the ancestral hall is done. Because remember, we need a follow-up strategy. Like killing Arabia is fine, but we need something to do after that. So I'll probably just kill all of his cities and then resettle it like I did before. Because I won't be able to hold these in a in a dark age. This will not be possible. Unfortunately, it just will not be possible. I'm going to build ancient walls. Um, I feel like I need to navigate my way through this tech tree efficiently. So grabbing masonry first to get ancient walls somewhere would be a good idea. Um, I don't know if we need that. Um, it would be maybe good to do like economic stuff in this city. And that's either settlers or growth items, and I think it's settlers because I need, I need, I need, I need things. I need like a follow-up strategy to this war with Arabia, right? Why are we getting the ancestral hall so we can settle efficiently? Um, we also need to evangelize our religion, but we're waiting for the ability to make uh, watch columns, fossils. Bit of experience on you. So I think we settled the silver. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. This warrior would probably be better just coming down as a warrior. Doesn't have walls up, so we should be able to just erase Baghdad. And yes, I will be raising it uh, purely because I won't have the ability to hold it under loyalty. You have a promotion. I'm going to prioritize promoting my units over um, getting damage in. Normally I'd prioritize getting damage in. We're going to settle here. This will give me more gold to sustain my empire. Which is good. And the Haboob Storm waltzed through here recently. Uh, this city is basically useless without like the Granary and Watermill. So we're going to get both. It's going to be a long time sitting there doing basically nothing. But it will eventually become a useful part of my empire, I promise. It is giving me culture right now, which is nice. It'll also provide a very, very small benefit to, uh, to loyalty in the local area, making it easier for me to settle where I need to settle. Okay, we're getting moving, you're healing up. We shall soon have enough to promote this guy. In fact, I can send him down here now to promote. He took a hit at my archer. Understandable. Um, I'm going to step you back, take a shot, and then move these guys forward. 41 combat strength. Because of the ideal terrain and river. Well, I can cross the river to get rid of the river. And start hammering it with archers. But there is the ancestral hall. I don't think vertical integration is really, really good. Um, so as a follow-up to this, I'm thinking that getting Pingala two levels in him would be pretty reasonable. The other one is Liang to get a lot of extra builder charges. Point Pingala in Midolanium. Cross the river. Come forward, shoot. Come forward, shoot. You go there. You go there. Ancestral Hall is completed. I could build the Temple of Artemis, um, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm going to hold off on building a legion until this guy is promoted. Um, and instead, what we're going to do is quickly grab a settler. Even though we're at war. Yeah, we're going to kill Arabia. This is like the second game in a row that I've killed Arabia. 
He wants to give me horses, but I don't want that. Good news is we'll be able to farm up a bunch of experience, shooting his cities. You heal up there. You're just also going to heal. We'll take our time farming up these archers to be absolute monsters. We're not in any particular rush. It is recovering 20 health per turn or 25 health or something. Right, there's a catapult coming. We'll be able to deal with that, no problem. Going to prioritize shooting that. Okay, I'd like to select this archer now. What is going on? Head to here. Alright, there's a catapult being annoying. Now, let's work on catapults. You're going to queue up ancient walls so that we can build catapults more efficiently. We're going to be getting double settlers soon. You move here, you become a legion. We have to swing down this way, maybe help out. I like to say I practice Predicted exactly where he was going to go with this, and now it's dead. Right there. Wish I had incendiaries, but the extra damage against the units is really nice. Shoot there. Shoot there. Is it time to start hitting the city? Not quite. I would like to have two legions over here before I start hitting the city. But yeah. We should be able to take these guys on. Um, we're settling behind this war. I want to settle a city maybe over here somewhere. Uh, I'm thinking like right there beside the horses. I did settle the city like a little bit too soon to get the free builder, but that's fine. I was more interested in just getting a city down. Um, and I'd like to settle a city like right... I want to stay... I want to be in range of these land tiles because I want to make use of them. It might be worth it to just settle a city like right there and have it be like a coastal city. Um, but I also want a city down here to uh, sort of fight back against his his loyalty pressure. I'm thinking like a city here, one, two, three, like a city here, one, two, three, and a city here. And now, put one turn into that, and we'll get to work on some legions. Anyway, that's going to be it from me. I hope you guys are enjoying this modded playthrough. Uh, there will be a link to all the things that you need in the description of the video. I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.